Good morning, everybody. It's Julie. Welcome back to Rowan Co. Farms. So we've got a big project for this weekend. Uh, we're going to be rebuilding, or not rebuilding, actually creating a chicken run for our laying hens that you can see behind me here. Uh, we also have some meat chickens coming um, in a couple of weeks, and we have some meat turkeys coming in about a week and a half. Uh, so we just need to make sure that we have kind of three different runs set up and coops set up for all three sets of birds. Um, and then we also want to make sure that they also will be able to have access to free range out here in the back. Um, but we're trying to prevent them from getting up here into our flower farm and into our vegetable garden, which is right next to where they live. <laughs> so this current fence, the, the fencing, uh, I'm trying to think of whether the spacing on the fencing is too large. And so the chickens can just slip right through here. Um, and so we're going to be taking this fencing down and replacing it with a tighter uh, woven fence. Um, we're also going to be adding basically another run of fencing. Not, it's not that far back. Um, basically from the back of this coop here, this corner, all the way down past where you see that other chicken coop and the side by side, all the way down, we're going to be creating this long, long chicken run. Um, so that they will have, you know, still a place to roam around. If we want to free range them, we'll be able to free range them out the back into the pasture back there. Um, but we don't have to do that if we don't want to. So um, that's the current plan. Pretty excited, it's pretty ambitious, but we have a lot of work to do this weekend. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more in detail like what the plan is. I also am having trouble. We, you know, we got these brand new chickens, brand new rooster. They've been here a couple weeks and now the rooster is started getting feisty with me. <laughs> he tried to attack me for the first time this morning. And you guys know, I don't tolerate that. Um, I'm gonna take my chicken hit and stick with me when I go out. I forgot it and I'm gonna go grab it. But if he tries to attack me again, he's going in the stew pot. <laughs> he, we do not tolerate uh, roosters that attack. <laughs> they just, it just doesn't, doesn't jive. I don't, I don't like it. We have small children around, and as soon as you turn your back, um, roosters will just, they'll come attack you from behind, and I do not appreciate that. <laughs> So anyway, uh, let's go in here and I'll show you um, exactly what the plan is. Okay, so this is our chicken coop. It's pretty big, but anyway, so we're going to start at this back corner and we're going to run the fencing all the way down this corridor. You can kind of see where there used to be some other fencing up my fingers in the way down there so we're just gonna we're gonna continue that all the way down here we have two chicken coops potential chicken coops and turkey coops there's this one that's sitting right here it needs a tarp over the top and then we have that other little small building right there both of those are chicken coops and have been chicken coops in the past so we're gonna get those um, reset up refurbished a little bit and so basically this whole long corridor all the way down it's about i'd say it's about 300 feet long um it, we're going to divide that into three sections basically so each set of birds will get their own section so let's walk down and take a look at what greg's doing down here so again we're going to be removing all of this fence that you see right through here the posts will stay but the fence will get removed And so this entire area through here will become the chicken run. So the chickens, the laying hens, their area will stop kind of right here where this fence post is and it'll come across and then we'll probably put in some type of gate situation back here so that they can get out um, into the pasture. So then once we put that across here, then we'll start the next little coop area. And that'll be either for the turkeys or for the meat, meat chickens, doesn't really matter. Um, but we'll get those rotated through. I see Greg down there, he's starting to remove all of this old, this is old, old fencing. 
There's just all kinds of stuff growing up down here. We're gonna be tearing all of those weeds and things out. There's a bunch of blackberries in there, but they're just, they're, they're weeds here. We get so many of these growing. So yeah, we'll be clearing out all of this bramble and brush and just extending this run all the way down for our animals. Okay, so you can see here, okay, this was the chicken coop we had for a while. It's full still of old like bedding and stuff. We'll get that cleared out and there's a lot of weeds in there, but we'll get all that cleaned out and we can reuse this for either our turkeys or for our meat chickens, either one probably for the turkeys since we have less turkeys coming so then we you see there's still a little bit of this makeshift fencing in here it's all going to get taken down and we will put new fencing in so greg's already working on taking out this old barbed wire and removing a bunch of this old stuff and i'm going to get in here and start helping him So we're out here in our shop. <laughs> we have to jump off our bobcat. It's not a. Uh, it's not starting. What do I need to do? Pull the truck up. Okay, so yeah, we have to jump off the bobcat, apparently. I guess the battery died. All right, guys, I look kind of crazy. <laughs> I've been out here working, my hair's all nutso. Uh, so, I had to run to town. We had to get a new battery for the bobcat. It, it's, the other one is just, it was completely dead. It cannot be charged. Um, so I just came to town. I've got that, it's in the back of the truck. I'm head back home. Um, we just have to use the bobcat for um, a lot of the, there's a bunch of trees that have grown up in between all those fence posts. If you guys saw that um, in the video um, before. So we just have to get rid of all that and we have to dig it out with the skid steer. It's just much easier than back breaking work. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we're gonna get the battery put in and then we'll get out there and get that done.
just flew in my face. Okay, I'm taking a little break. All right, so we've made good progress so far today. We've cleared all of the old fencing out. We weed eated everything down. I started raking some stuff out and now Greg is using our skid steer and he is like clearing out in between each of these fence posts just to make sure there's no more trees and brambles and blackberries and all the stuff. We just need clear ground all through there uh, so that we can run our new um, fencing. Uh, we probably won't actually get to the fencing until tomorrow. Uh, this is gonna be all the prep work today. And tomorrow's Mother's Day, and so I have to decide, like, do I wanna work tomorrow or do I wanna take the day off tomorrow? I have the option. But the reality is, is Mama wants a new chicken coop. And if I don't get out here and help build the chicken coop, it'll be another week before we can get out here next weekend. Um, during the week is just not great because my husband is gone um, to work during the week. Um, and so we just don't have the time to dedicate, you know, a solid day. So I'm kind of leaning towards doing some work tomorrow. <laughs> Even though it's Mother's Day, um, that's okay because things have to get done. Uh, but yeah, progress is good. Right now, I'm going to just take a little break and have a drink. Um, luckily, it's been really overcast. It just The sun just came out a little while ago, but it had been really cool out here until then. But that was good. That was good. Good luck. Um, we may still run to town later. Not the town I just went to, but another <laughs> bigger town. Because uh, I need to find white tarps. Um, we found that white tarps over the, like the hooped chicken coop house uh, works really well because it lets a lot of sunlight in, um, but it still provides shade. Um, so, so we're gonna utilize that for our chickens so they have plenty of shade in the afternoons or a way to escape the sun if they need to but I think that will work out well, but we still need to find one of those. I went to Tractor Supply yesterday and they did not have white. That was not an option. So I need to see if maybe Lowe's or Home Depot has one um, and we'll get one there. I feel like I should be doing something, but there's actually really nothing to do right now. Once he's done, I'll kind of go down there and help him load some of the stuff he's pushed over into the you know, the scooper of the bobcat, and then we'll take that to our big burn pile. We have to burn some stuff at some point. I don't know when we're gonna do that. Probably not until the fall now, because we have a burn ban until October. All right, guys, we are done for the day. We did all we could. We cleared all the debris away. We got the whole fence line cleared out, all the old fencing removed. We're stopping for the night. Tomorrow, we'll get back out here and work for a little bit. But it looks like we're probably still gonna be extended into next weekend. It's just, it's a long project. It's a lot of work. Um, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll get it done. Uh, we have time. The good thing is, is once the, the meat chicks and the turkey chicks and all that get here, they're gonna be in the brooder for a couple of weeks. So we, we technically have about three or four weeks before we have to put um, the chickens out here. So we have a little time, um, but we still wanna get it done as quick as we can. So, all right guys, I'll be back tomorrow. All right guys, so it is not the next day. It's like four or five days later. Uh, we did not go back and work on Mother's Day. <laughs> so we did take the day off. It was a nice day. Um, we rested and did not <laughs> did not get anything else accomplished um, in the chicken coop project. 
which is totally fine. So this week um, we're going to be buying some new gates uh, to add in there and we're just going to uh, wait till this weekend to start working on the project again. And, and that's gonna work out just fine. Um, we needed to take the day off. We really work pretty much every day. And so Mother's Day, it was just, it was, it was appropriate. So we took that day off. Um, I did wanna kind of follow up with you guys. I'm gonna end the video um, here because it's already a long video and there's a lot more to this project. So I'll just bring you the culmination of it um, in the next video. Um, we'll be working on it again this weekend and hopefully we'll be done um, after this weekend. So yeah, stay tuned. I can't wait to show you what's happening next here at Rowan Co Farms.